Hi, welcome to Okoy Hamster. Today I'll be doing this top done OBD2 scanner, and the model is OBD CAN Elite, and this one costs roughly $120 off Amazon. I'll show some of the highlights and features for this item. So it's got the enhanced OBD2 scanner. I can read, of course, the pre like just like before, engine codes, but what's interesting with this one is that I can also read and clear the ABS and the SRS codes too. Here's some of the technical specs spread on the bottom over here. I came with a hard shell carrying case. In the case, there's a little mesh sleeve for a micro USB card reader, a mini USB cable, and also the user manual. The user manual is pretty well written. And it goes, it covers both the Plus and the Elite. And it also has sections in there that says if you're using the Elite version, these are the additional functionalities available for you. Put this to the side. Here's the compartment for the OBD scanner. And here's the scanner itself. Got a very large LCD display, large buttons. I can easily press even if I'm wearing gloves. On this side, we have the ports to update the software and the firmware. And here's what it says on the back of the item. Cars after 1996 will have an OBD port, usually under the dashboard. So for mine, on my Honda Accord, EXL V6 2009 model. It's located right under the driver's side. Let's plug this in. Once plugged in, now it's starting to power up. I can just run diagnostic. So for my ABS system, let's head in there. I already know what's going on with it. Let me just go read the trouble codes. And I need to update my modular controller because of low voltage. Let's go back for the SRS, or in other words, airbag. Read the trouble codes. Front passenger side airbag inflator. For my vehicle, the airbag light is on. And I'm going to show what happens when I try to clear it using this. I know why my airbag light is on and I did not resolve it, so I'm going to show what happens when I clear it. The light will de-illuminate and pop right back up. So it's not like the check engine light where it takes a little more time for it to pop back up. So I actually need to fix it before I can clear it. I fixed the issue. Now I'm going back to my reader here. I'm going to hit yes, clear it. This time the light will go off and it'll stay off. This item works great. It has all the OPT2 functionality and also the functionality for ABS and SRS. So for those that do a lot of car repair or just more of a DIY type of person, yes, I would recommend this. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Oprah Hamster.